Hello, everybody. Uh, here is uh, Emilia uh, and Monica. Monica, we are from Poland, uh, and uh, um, to today, tonight, uh, we, we want to discuss a little bit about the CSA. Uh, it's just it's the beginning. Uh, it's the it, this this webinar is the beginning of the uh, webinars uh, which uh, will follow uh, during April. Um, before we begin, we want you to unmute your micro. We see that Federica has uh, a micro uh, mm -hmm. on. So could you please, oh, thank you, Federica. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. and then also for some rules concerning our webinar, we propose to you that we will present you our presentation. It will take more or less 50 to one hour um, because we have more than 20 slides. And then there will be space and time for question and answers. Of course, you can uh, you can write it if when it appears to your mind. But it will be also a possibility not only to write it down, but also to speak, to talk a little bit. Because um, if you could pay attention, if you if you could pay attention, there is also a possibility to wave your hand. In that case, our moderator Urgency can allow you to speak. In that case, you have to unmute your microphone and we can just talk. So it will be the communication both ways, not only that we will be speaking, but also for you, there will be a space. Yes, um, that's all from logistic. I think so. In any case, you can write it down and we can make just uh, adjustment for your for your needs. So now we can switch uh, for presentation, so you won't see our face. And I think it's not so bad. Okay, so we can stop um, video, and you will see the. You will. It's okay. It's visible. The basics for CSA groups. This is the title for our first first uh, webinar. The three following, as Emilia was announced, was announcing you will be held during an April, during April, and the exact date and the exact time will be announced on Urgency and CSA uh, website. Yes, so uh, let's start. As we told you already, we are from Poland. Uh, me and Monika, we are engaged in uh, um, developing uh, and promoting the idea of uh, CSA uh, in Poland. And we are the part of the uh, international team which is focused uh, on that issue. So developing and promoting the idea of uh, CSA. Um, uh, and this webinar is also the part of this uh, activity, international uh, activity we have now. Um, in Poland, uh, the idea of CSA is, uh, is developing. Um, I think since uh, 2011, uh, the, the, that was the, the date of uh, 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 when the first uh, CSA was established in Poland. Uh, till now we have uh, several uh, working CSA groups and this um, we can see that the interest in um, establishing different kind of CSA uh, is growing in Poland so we are happy about that and happy also that we can uh, somehow be a part of it. Uh, so, uh, meanwhile, uh, when we will be talking about the basic of uh, CSA, how to establish CSA, what are the benefits and obstacles, we will show you uh, also uh, some examples of uh, our Polish um, CSA groups. So, um, uh, let's start. Uh, so, um, the main um, the main uh, issue we want to stress from the very beginning is the right definition of what CSA uh, really is. And uh, let me, uh, okay, so we have some problems with switching the, with switching the, okay, so it is. Uh, so um, here we have the, the definition um, of community supported agriculture because this is the the CSA is the shortcut of community supported agriculture. 
and uh, uh, at the very beginning it's important to understand this definition so uh, we understand a csa uh, uh, in a in a basic form as a direct partnerships partnership between uh, people so from the other from the one side we have the people who uh, buy food and from the other side we have uh, the producers and farmers and uh, this relation between people who buy food so consumers or eaters as we call it and the farmers or producers is based on the partnership and this partnership is um, as the human relationship so it's not something which is uh, um, which is uh, um, without uh, this uh, uh, how to say uh, this human dimension so this human dimensions in this uh, partnership is uh, very important so this is like a, to be in the contact with one man to another man so we will develop this idea uh, later on, but uh, now um, it's important to understand that it's based on partnership. And the second thing in this uh, model of cooperation uh, is to that, that the risks, responsibilities and rewards of farming are shared. So this is also the, this is the, the, uh, the common ground of this partnership that we share uh, all benefits, but also responsibility, responsibilities and risk of uh, farming. And the next uh, issue, what, what is really very, which is very important, is that that is a long-term and binding agreement. Um, and we will dis discuss it uh, later as well about this uh, binding agreement. But. Uh, this is uh, also a very important partner, uh, important issue of this uh, partnership. And this definition uh, is uh, taken from the uh, declaration, which was, uh, which was um, uh, uh, formulated by the uh, people who were involved uh, in uh, this uh, movement of uh, CSA uh, uh, developing around the Europe and uh, this declaration was uh, uh, also the, the result of this meeting which was uh, held in uh, uh, Ostrava in Czech Republic in 2016. So uh, uh, this is from the declaration, I, I would say more about it uh, in a minute, but just to um, to give you an overview, what is the most important uh, um, issues? What are the most important issues in a CSA? So uh, it's based on the food sovereignty. Probably you know uh, the idea of food sovereignty. It's uh, like uh, it's defined as uh, our right to food. So our right to uh, define our politics, uh, uh, to create. Um, our right to, do, to define food policies and right to, um, to choose what food and how produce uh, in, and what food we eat and which way of producing this food is important for us. So this is the right to decide uh, how the food system should look like. Um, and uh, the other thing which is important in the CSA concept is uh, solidarity economy, as you have here it uh, on the on the slide. So this is also the the main issue in this partnership. So solidarity between uh, the stakeholders in this uh, model. So uh, here it's very important to uh, to give each other support and also to build a com community. So this is the totally different um, model of cooperation between farmers and, um, and eaters or consumers than we know, than we know to, uh, uh, because uh, this sol solidarity uh, is, the, is the fundamental things uh, in, uh, uh, in this. We also, we will say more about this in the next, uh, in the next minute. So be patient. And the other thing 
which is the base for CSA, is uh, caring farming. So mm, it's all about the farming because here we discuss about the, uh, the, the way the food is produced and how it's distributed. Um, and uh, uh, this environmental issues of uh, how the farmers uh, uh, taking care of the land of biodiversity is also uh, one of the priorities in this uh, CSA uh, model. So these are the three pillars of the, uh, the CSA uh, concept. Um, it, this declaration you can find on uh, on the website of Urgency. You can see the the you can see the website. Uh, sorry, can we go there? You can see here uh, at the bottom the the, uh, the address of the website and. Um, this basic, these basic principles of the CSA movement uh, are developed here in, uh, as a common ground of understanding uh, what the CSA actually is. And what is here important also for us that this thinking about the food as a common good, not a commodity. So uh, this is very important uh, in a time where the food is uh, um, treated as a, uh, as a normal commodity you can uh, on the market. So we want to um, uh, we want to change this kind of thinking about the food that the food is a common good and it's also the main principle of food sovereignty that we treat food as a common good. The other thing which is very important in that model is that the, the production of the food, uh, is on human scale. Um, so this human scale is um, uh, treated here as, as um, something very far away from the in industrial production and something very far away from uh, organic production which is uh, on the industrial scale because it is also uh, popular in our times that uh, the organic production is also on this industrial scale uh, uh, run in different kind in different countries. So this human scale production for uh, local needs uh, and um, uh, for local needs of consumers and also on uh, our on the farmers possibilities, it's very important here. Of course, fair working conditions for farmers um, and uh, um, community building through direct and long-term relationships. Uh, we will tell you more about this community building and the importance of that in that, uh, in that, uh, uh, in that uh, concept, in that model. So uh, as I told you, the, uh, the wall declaration will find uh, on the Urgency uh, website. And just to uh, show you the how we call it uh, relationships matrix um, just to show you uh, and to, 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 to help you to understand this concept uh, so the, here you have a uh, graphics uh, showing uh, three types of uh, market organization on the left hand you have a uh, farmers typical farmers markets uh, inside food hubs like and farmyard sale, direct sale, and on the right uh, you have a community supported, su supported agriculture. So this model based on solidarity, and here you have the uh, the information and this dimension of short term and long term. As I, as I told you in this declaration, there is a um, um, there is a very important that in community supported agriculture, uh, this uh, partnership is long term is uh, something which is established for uh, not only for one um, uh, for one act of selling something or buying something but it's a long-term corporation and for, uh, as you can see on the left um, in the case of farmers markets 
this relation is short term. So you go to the market and you buy some food and you don't need to know nothing about the farmer and there is no need for, um, for your engagement or your, uh, for your interest. Um, and uh, this relationship matrix, uh, you can also, uh, this understanding, you can also, you can also deepen, uh, um, thanks to this, uh, maybe not, not very interesting, but I think important uh, chart. Uh, here we have also this three kind of, uh, three kind of, um, the kind of uh, uh, market organization. We try to find a good uh, a good uh, pointer. I think this is the best. So here you have, uh, as it was on the uh, slide before, market-oriented model, transitive model like the farmers market, and solidarity solidarity based model like CSA. And I think the most interesting are for us this farmers market and uh, CSA. So you can see different here on the left different kind of aspects uh, um, addressed in uh, this uh, this uh, types of, organi of market organization. And uh, what is important here, and I want to really stress now, is that for example when we talk about decision making in this transitive model and typical farmer's market, for example, in the case when you go to the farm and you buy food, it's like a decision, there is no decision decision making together. So it's a, it's a buyer's on buyer's demand. So um, you have the interaction face to face, but um, you buy what you want. Uh, and uh, the, 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 um, the farmer gives you the, um, uh, the range of uh, different kind of uh, products you have and you buy what you want and th that's the typical like in the shop but but in the solidarity ba solidarity based model it's very important that you have this collective discussion of needs and options uh, between uh, and options which uh, are uh, for you and for farmers so all um, uh, decisions are making together um, for example, uh, the payment method is here uh, very important. When you buy on the market, you pay direct. If, uh, after, after you buy, uh, you, you pay. But here in solidarity-based solidarity model in CSA, you pay in advance for the whole season. And this is the main and I think the most important thing for the farmer in this model uh, on which the solidarity is also uh, built so that uh, consumers or eaters, how we call them, pay in advance for the whole season. So the farmer has this kind of uh, security and uh, also means to, um, to, uh, to deliver food uh, for um, uh, during the season. Um, the other thing which are important for now is also that um, uh, this commitment, when we talk about this uh, partnership, when we talk about the solidarity, it's very important that we are committed to the producer or for, to the farmer for the whole season. Um, uh, in the models uh, like in farmer's market, transitive model, there is no such commitment. You can go and buy or, or not. So it's, uh, uh, but in the CSA, it's like when you commit to, uh, to, to buy um, uh, the shares or the basket from the, from the producer or the farmer, uh, this is your commitment for the whole season and um, you are the responsible person, uh, uh, make, you make this commitment at the very beginning, uh, also by, um, uh, by agreement, which is made between you and the farmer. Uh, 
Yeah, I think this, these are the most important thing and the, 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 the most important issues um, uh, here. Um, I think also it is interesting to ask the question, uh, what for this kind of uh, um, model? Uh, why this kind of model? So we, we, we believe that this kind of model is uh, some is the answer for the challenges we are facing now, uh, globally and locally, they are, um, they are connected also with this market-oriented model, as you can see here, and we know it uh, from the everyday, uh, everyday uh, life. This uh, market-oriented model, when we go to the shop and buy food, is uh, it's not uh, efficient uh, in terms of um, environmental protection and also our needs as the responsible of or aware consumers. So uh, we think that this kind of um, initiatives like CSA, so solidarity-based solidarity models, could be the right answer for this different kind of challenges um, also like a climate change or, um, uh, or disappearing of small scale farming. It's like a, the, the, it could be the right answer to this kind of problems we are facing now and also good solutions to, uh, to find uh, good alternatives for uh, the future. So we, I think you too believe it that uh, Monica, that uh, it could be the right way to, to make it in a different way. Okay, so uh, what are the actors in this model? Uh, so first we have the farmer or producer. Uh, sometimes we call it, we call the farmer or producer also uh, like a, a grower. Uh, so because he grows and produces, uh, he grows and produces food. Um, so uh, uh, this is uh, the, the, the position of the farmer or the producer here is in this model is very important. So we treat uh, this, um, uh, our farmers, our producers as, uh, um, as the people who are very important in uh, this, uh, um, in this, uh, in, in this new model of thinking about uh, of thinking of uh, food system, so farmer is is uh, the farmer producer is well known uh, to us, and it's not in, in, in this and it, he's not somebody who is uh, um, far away from us. So the farmers usually they do they work and they do live in a, in our region in. Uh, near our towns, so uh, we know uh, our farmers, we know our producers uh, in CSA model. So it's uh, somebody who, who uh, is uh, uh, known to us. And um, the producers and farmers uh, in the CSA model, they, um, um, they produce and they deliver us the food according to the agreed principles and the agreement we uh, the agreement which we uh, um, establish at the very beginning of our cooperation. So the farmer know knows what he should deliver to us, and we know also what will be delivered to us. So this is very very important in the in this agreement. And uh, the last thing, but not least, the farmer or the producer has security of income in that model. So as it was said before, it's very important that we pay as a consumer, we pay in advance for the whole season. And that's why the, the farmer has this security. Okay, and then we have a, consumer member and eater so this is we we can use um, we can use different words for it but the, the main idea that is that we we want we don't want to be a, a normal or typical consumers as it is in a market oriented model or 
a typical industrial food production model. We want to be a member of the community and or we are the eaters or receivers of the food. So we try to, so we try to um, not to use this word consumer uh, very often, but uh, it's important to understand that uh, uh, that we think about the consumers as the member of the communities and we will also develop this idea in some minutes. So this member of the eater commits in that, mo that model to share the risk and rewards and subscribe to the well season. So uh, uh, he gains the share of a harvest and takes part in the decision making. So uh, we are, as a consumers, members of eaters, we are involved from the very beginning to the end uh, in uh, that uh, cooperation. Then we have uh, another actor in that, in that model, uh, very popular. Um, it's the coordinator or coordinator. So this is the person who is in charge on, uh, of the um, be a kind of facilitator between the a community and between the farmers or producers um, and it could uh, he could or he or she could uh, organize the, uh, the communication uh, rules between um, between stakeholders in that model um, also can Administ, uh, administ, do some administrative uh, things, organize uh, delivery places or organize different kind of events. And uh, in some cases, in, uh, as we can see um, uh, in uh, examples of uh, working CSA in Europe, such coordinator could be also awarded. So his, his or her work could be also uh, paid. So these are the actors of CSA. Now the, the, next, uh, the next issue we want to uh, talk a little bit is setting up a CSA and yeah and Monica well so now we go take the floor. Yeah we now we go more to the practice because what uh, Emilia was presented by now was more about the theory, more about the uh, yeah the theory, the theory and the, the declaration. Now we go on the sector of practice, and the first first thing when you want to when you think about setting up a CSA is how to start and when to start with who shall we start or with who is the best to start. So. From our perspective, the perspective that we have um, mm, that we have from the uh, the theory that we that we are uh, that we are working on, and also from the practice, because my, me personally, I now I'm in the process of setting up a, a CSA in my city, in my well, in my uh, society, and also I took part one time before and Emilia also was involved in several initiatives. So from our perspective, the, the crucial thing is that the both sides understand the concept, the concept of CSA. And what is the CSA, the rules of CSA? We can find one on one hand in declaration because this is something that, this is the basics of this model uh, because each CSA group ha could have a different, uh, um, how to say, different faces regarding the region, regarding the, the country, regarding the people, the, regarding also the number of people preparing and working on, on within the group. But uh, uh, we can share the, this concept in two. From the one hand, farmer if if you are a farmer or a producer and you want to set up a, a csa or you are asking to set up a csa this this three i think question are crucial for you so uh, you should be aware and you should know what kind of relationship you will have to develop within a csa community because it is not like a farmer market so you will be 
uh, in very, very tight bonds with your members. And it has on one hand the, the pros and but also the cons of, of that concept. The second thing is you have to respond for the question what kind of production has to be realized. So it's not enough that you produce or you grow potato, tomato and, and, and parsley. It's not enough. You, you have to be prepared to, to, uh, to grow food at least, I don't know, 25, 30 different kind of, uh, of vegetables or fruits or just a product because it's at your side to deliver during the whole season food for your eaters, for your members. And also it requires, I, in my, from my perspective, a specific um, uh, um, competi competences to, 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 to prepare in that way that you can, uh, that you can uh, propose to your members more or less equal share in every moment of, of season, yeah? And the last thing, which is very, very difficult and very, very crucial for CSA, and for that topic will be uh, devoted one whole webinar, it's finance, it's finances. So what could be the estimated revenue in a year? Because even though on the one hand, you as a farmer has a great thing because you receive a money uh, from the top at the beginning of the season from your members so you don't have to take any loans so you are um, just independent from that side from that point of view but on the other hand please remember that you already received all money and during the season there will be no extra money if you uh, if you devoted your whole farm for a CSA so it's also a it, it could be also a, a challenging uh, situation for you as a farmer to managing with your money in that way that it will last for whole season. Yeah, so that that's why it's uh, not only the good thing that you will receive money from in advance, but also it's something that you can uh, you, you have to deal with that. Yeah. As for eaters, we are using this name, eaters, consumers, members, mm -hmm. but those who don't uh, farm on the, on, the, on the ground, don't farm on the, uh, yeah, don't grow, don't grow food. So the eater, before you start setting up a CSA and before you start to, uh, to prepare a commitment, just answer to that two question. If, um, if you are, if you are ready to pay in advance of receiving a food, because if you perceive, for instance, in Poland, our season, it's more or less like 20, 25 weeks. Yeah. So it depending on, uh, depending on CSA groups, but it starts more or less in May, end of the May, and it lasts up to mid November. So are you ready for, um, to receive a share every week because mainly it's a weekly, uh, a weekly share. Are you ready to receive it? And, and also are you ready that in some, uh, in, at some moment of the season, there will be a peak of tomato and, <laughs> and your share will be a lot of tomato and if you if you have it a lot of it, you have to do something because it's not possible to eat everything yeah, at the at at the last at the at the same moment. The same for I don't know for the cucumber or courgette or any different um, any different pumpkin for instance. The, the autumn this is the, the the crazy season for pumpkin. So you you also have to change your custom. You have to change your habits uh, regarding the CSA model. And I will tell you more about that in, in, in the next slide because it appears very often when I was uh, interviewing people working on in, within a CSA group that, uh, that just uh, entering in that model of, uh, of that model, model of cooperation changed a lot of, a lot in their life. Also regarding the uh, the habits of, um, of of social of behaving in a social life like you start to cook more at, 
at your flat, at your home. You don't eat so much outside because you know that in your in your kitchen there are there are fresh vegetables waiting for you uh, and preparing some good food. Yeah. The, the second thing for eaters is that in many CSA models, very popular, or even it, it is in some way obvious that the members also take part in distribution, farm work, or doing any extra thing concerning production and delivery, uh, so doing the logistics. Uh, it's very popular that a farm, uh, that a farmer, uh, people working on a farm, they just give you a stuff and it's up to you, consumer eaters in the, in the cities, to find a nice and good place just to share the, to share the goods. So somebody should uh, spend some time just to be there to make a well, just to be there and maybe to clean up the, the room after after the share or, or maybe to make packaging. I don't know. So it's it, I will tell you more about the, this kind of thing in uh, on, on a slide concerning devoted for, for duties. Uh, just to show you uh, a little bit of, a little bit of photos. Uh, so this is the logo. This is the, the logo of one of the well, the longest uh, living CSA, I think, because now they start the seventh season, and this is the the, the way they uh, they 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 collect the food, they collect the the food, the basket for for the consumers. So it's it looks like this. So in every basket, you have different kind of uh, vegetables or fruit. And on that slide, on that photos, you can uh, an, an example of uh, of summer share. So uh, for one week, so this is what you will be, what will you will receive. It depending also on on your diet because for some uh, families, for some members, it's not enough. It's just maybe like two or three uh, days to survive <laughs> this amount of vegetables. But for other people, it's even more they, they need. So I know the, the, the cases like people, they are sharing also with their neighbors or with, they, with their friends, the goods they receive from the farmer. So because the, the most uh, common, I think, situation is that the consumer, they want to set up a CSA. And what I, when I've been told by one German farmer, uh, he's running since more than 25 years, a huge farm, well, huge, maybe not, it's not a good word, but, um, a, well, a big scale farm, a very complex farm, so they have almost everything on that. And he told me that when they set up the first CSA, it was more than 25 years ago, they were uh, initiating that group. And that group didn't last for a long time because for many reasons, people resigned, people weren't, uh, well, weren't prepared for that, for that kind of model of cooperating. But after that, after that uh, after several years, after the first CSA group collapsed, uh, a group of people came to him because he was always present at the local market with their product. And the group of eaters came to him and said, okay, we want to set up some kind of CSA group. Are you ready to cope with us? And he told me, and you know, and this CSA group initiated by eaters, it lasts until now. And from my perspective, as a farmer, this is the most um, sustainable, the most real, real, reliable uh, way of uh, preparing CSA, because you you see the need, but uh, but also you have to have you have to find a, a good farmer. And now you have uh, several uh, question. It's good to have an answer because farmer. It's not uh, he 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 lives he works in your distant in your uh, well in your dis in your, in your related 
regions so you can ask him or her how he or she find the concept and uh, are they ready for this kind of uh, this kind of challenge because it's a huge challenge for farmer i can observe it now when we are talking with two farmers uh, and how it is difficult and even though i'm quite uh, good at, at theory at practice when it comes for uh, for the for the establishing a new csa for small um, for small group of people i see that it, it is so specific uh, situation we have here in my city in my group that we can work on that uh, very consciously and very um, well with respect in the sense that uh, there is no good uh, pattern for establishing a CSA. They are only some sort of um, advices. The rest we have to do on our own. But if you, if for now I have the situation that uh, in at some extent I have to convince the farmers to enter to that uh, model of cooperation, there you have at least four aspects for yeah four aspects of benefits that farmer could find in a csa uh, in a csa model beginning from the personal benefits so i think that uh, it's very important just to touch this personal benefits for 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 person who works on the farm you can go through social economic and environmental and I think that uh, also the, 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 this, the, this is the combination of, let's say, personal and economic or economic and envi environmental. And for many, many of us, I think there is no point to convince us that the, the CSA is a good for environmental because we all know that. I think we all know that more or less, but we know that. Uh, what it's very important to stress that there are also economic benefits for farmers. Yeah. So one of them, one of that, it this is the uh, lower production risk. So if a farmer has a group of eaters uh, declaring that they will receive a weekly share from his or her farm, it it means that. Uh, he don't take he don't have to um, worry about the, the sale so it, it he could think that everything is already sold and I think it, this is good thing for for farmer the other thing is that um, you you can be sure you can you can be sure that um, your eaters can are ready to share the risk so if you plan to have a lot of tomato, a lot of I know raspberry, a lot of other kind of fruits. But sorry, they will be they they were in the spring some sort of um, unpredicted uh, weather condition, and there is not so much or or just you you have another amount of, of fruits to share. They are ready for that. They are ready, and they are they they admit they they could take as much as you can. So it's very, very, I think, uh, it, it makes a lot of comfort for, for, for farmer. As for eaters, you can say that these personal benefits are longer than environmental, <laughs> but uh, it's also very important to underline the personal uh, benefits for your friends or your neighbors you want to involve in the, in the CSA group. Uh, because, as I said, it, uh, entering into CSA group will change your uh, will change your habits, will change your life for sure. Uh, because it it's not, well, it, it it works like this. You will um, you will make a, a community group, and you will have to cooperate together, and also you can have to. Um, well, deal with different challenges, with different situations, which are at the end very, um, very well, very developing, very good for for each of us. Uh, for instance, just uh, also some uh, some photos, how it looks like, 
the, the goods from another CSA, which works uh, already several seasons. I don't know exactly fifth or sixth, but it's it lasts for, for, for a long time. And also this basket looks very, very well nice because it's a huge variety of product. And uh, as you, in the main cases, you admit that you will receive a weekly share without um, exact number of carrots, with exact, without any exact number of any other vegetables, but it, it will be just your share. It is also a, a point to, to cope with your co-members if you want to swap something or just swap product or swap uh, different recipes for, for good food for good uh, for good yeah for good food uh yeah the peak the tomato peak season uh you can see that the variety variety of of uh, of tomato but uh, it's not only to convince somebody and to start a csa but just to see uh, how it is in reality so you have to be aware of obstacles to start the csa and uh, one of the obstacles i found very very important to be aware of from the point of view not only farmer but all members is that in several countries in different countries we have different level of uh, social capital and uh, cap well yes yeah, social capital if it, i could say so so the uh, the years of different uh, model of communication the different model of of market uh, well make uh, make difference yes so that's why if you follow the difference uh, the different uh, history the different uh, phases of csa let's say in a country like Poland, Czech Republic or Hungary, they have something in common and also something in common have a CSA group from Mediterranean countries, yes? Because they are, well, we are a little bit different from the point of view, historical, political and social as well. And it reflects on, uh, on the way of communicating in the way of do we want to cooperate in a close uh, in a close community or not or we are more independent or more i don't know yeah more independent for farmer it's very important to be aware that he or she has to wear more more than one hat it means that it's not only about producing or growing food but also uh, to be competent in uh, communication to be competent sometimes in uh, in marketing so just to be aware yes yeah? so it's like um, inviting somebody at your at your home uh, on one hand it's good but on the other hand he or she will enter to your private space to your private yes yeah, your private space and the last thing is the difficulties to gain knowledge and experience in organic agriculture and in finance planning so i said uh, there will be an extra webinar uh, devoted for financing financing in csa and uh, because it's it, this is a huge challenge and as i obs as i am observing now this is the main uh, challenge and the main problem for many csa group not only in my country but also in other countries like uh, people they don't know how to uh, calculate the, the price how to make the budget because still we do refer the price to this uh, capitalism market which is not real it 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 doesn't reflect the real cost of production it, it doesn't reflect the real cost of small scale <laughs> production so that's why it's so important to be aware of that but for members, uh, one of the obstacles to uh, be part of a CSA uh, group member is low income because at the beginning you have to um, you have to invest for this. Like it depends of of course of a price for one share, but uh, yes, at the beginning you have to spend relatively maybe not so uh, big amount of money, but if if your main um, 
if your budget is not so high, uh, every big amount of money it's uh, well, it's it's big <laughs> like this. Mm, different CSA um, make different agreements. Sometimes it's like you pay uh, one price at the beginning. In another CSA, it is like you have to you 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 are allowed to pay in like uh, two or three um, different um, different shares. So it's possible just to, to divide this total amount for for money. I know that in uh, in Spain uh, sometimes this is uh, also a question for running CSA that the members of CSA just not only share the risk with the farmer but also share the risk with other members. So if you are a member of CSA and suddenly unexpectedly you lost your job or you have the financial problem your group could support you because you as a group you you set such a rules that uh, as the as we already mentioned the food it's not a a, a normal let's say um, a set on the market it's something very very important and uh, everybody have to be able to have an access to good food, right, to the good food. So that's why how you will deal with this um, obstacle in your group, it's up to you to decide within your, uh, within your declaration, within your agreement. Also, you have to be ready uh, to limited choice of pro uh, pro product and sometimes it it ha it could happen that uh, uh, the quality or maybe the quantity will be not as you uh, were thinking. So at one time there will be not so much of food as you thought, but on the other hand you could have a lot of vegetables like uh, pumpkin I said because it's a it's a nice vegetables and it grows very very good uh, and in one season you you will have too much um, well too much but much more than you were you were aware or you were prepared for so just answer for that question are you ready for that to change your habits and sometimes make more pickles or make more uh, um, pumpkin soup yeah and the last thing is the, the question of logistic. So it could be inconvenient for some of us that we have to pick up our shares from one place and maybe we will have an extra duties uh, uh, with that concerning uh, cleaning, concerning packaging, concerning, I don't know, making any other uh, logistic organization uh, task. Uh, but uh, it's also up to you as a group to set up the set up the, the rules. Um, yes, yes, and uh, I think that the the last two uh, two question you have to answer. This is the what well I already said. It's concerning the logistic, yeah, and also uh, concerning finances, also from your private. Uh, household uh, budget but if we if we are telling about obstacles and benefits they they are also challenges as well <laughs> so there are several uh, challenges spotted and uh, on the one on the right hand you have the how the csa could help for that uh, for that challenge so um, it's more to for farmer uh, to analyze that to know whether it's it's fine for them maybe and they will find it enough enough uh, enough good or enough uh, uh, attracted for for them to well to to go into a csa group to to set up a csa group and um, i think the best thing is just to observe the different uh, story of different csa because it's only several challenges but as much as you can, uh, as much as we have different uh, CSA group, they, they could uh, 
they could present different challenges and different solutions that CSA gave to that. I think that um, that at the beginning from the farmer, it, it is good to know that uh, if you have if you are if you start already farming, so the maybe members can offer you um, pre loan. So members became with you um, a group of uh, running a farm, but in that group you are the one who have the competences how to make it, how to grow food, but members they have capital, they have uh, potential to finance uh, your work, yes, and this is very good for many farmers because uh, different, uh, different rules for banking uh, are not so good or not so well not so good for for small scale farmer and the last thing and the last thing but not uh, so um at the march because this is the core of the csa so the community building and uh, within the community building we have uh, the major thing that um in it appears in many in many previous slides that we are not the two part of something. We are the one community. So if on the market there you, you have uh, somebody who sells and somebody who, who buy, within the CSA group, it's not so, this difference, the uh, limit, it's not so visible. So this is very, very important to be aware of that, yeah? And uh, if we, if we treat us as a one entity, as a one group that has uh, the same needs and the same, maybe not the same, yeah, the same needs because we all need to have an access to good food, but different competences and different um, uh, different tools, we have to be aware of different roles and responsibilities that could be uh, devoted or underlined within any CSA group. There is a some sort of a description without making a link to any of uh, any of member but you have the role on the left side and on the right side description of task and some role are obvious that farming so crop planning work organization and budgeting of farming costs they could go or they are going to farmer yes but as for logistic or administration it's just up to up to you as a group to divide. But what is very important is just to be aware of that. If you don't take it into account during your life, uh, well, during your group will be working, it appears that some people are overloaded and the others, they are not aware of difficulties. They are not aware of uh, the amount of tasks, the amount of work that have to be done. And it was the case of one CSA that I took part, that this is uh, <laughs> the, the lack of knowledge was the main reason that the, the group collapsed because people didn't know uh, about the work that farmer have to do. And they were thinking only about the, the time they were uh, waiting for, for, for delivery and if the farmer was late because she couldn't be at time because of the work, they will be upset. They were upset. And finally, it was very, very, uh, well, finally, it, it was very um, difficult discussion among us. But uh, the sources of that collapse, I see that they were, they were we were not enough informed or aware about the different role that had to be uh in a csa group these are let's say uh three extra uh different roles and the the last one education it's very it's not let's say it's not compulsory but uh, many csa group because they pay attention on a social background they pay attention on uh, on this environmental uh, background as well sometimes they put a lot of stress on education and this education could be uh, let's say um, one per year or twice per year like open uh, days at the farm 
where everybody could come and just see and talk with the with the with the people or it could be more active that the members from the cities they could be more active with uh, telling what they are doing why they are doing but it's it's not compulsory it's not very very popular the scale depends on uh, each group yeah? and um, the at the at the core of good community building group it's communication and it appears in many csa uh, groups cases that the way you communicate the way you organize your group it it reflects how it works and how the people um, are involved in the in the life of of csa group and the very important thing is the, to communicate among members so member to member member to farmer farmer to members because without that there is a just a sp space uh, with i don't know uh, that doesn't help to build the community <laughs> we tells you at the first point that um, that you shall communicate in effective ways and um, it means that effective ways that um, you should use the language appropriate to place and to the case because um, very often people in uh, in sake to be kind don't tell the truth or don't tell the truth at the right moment or don't tell the truth to the right person so um, instead of being kind just be frank and this is the this is one of the one of the way how to communicate to farmer for instance or one, how to communicate how farmer should communicate to members with this several steps these four steps so first thing this is very important just to describe uh the behavior or the problem we want to discuss we want to get the feedback yeah so uh, don't um, don't go around the bushes but just just to say, say it straight straightforward then you should describe the result of the behavior or the problem in question so you you want to take to, you want to tell about the problem with the logistic so just name it I want to tell you my feedback on logistic and for instance the outcome well because you came so every uh, every Friday so late I have this and that problem so instead of uh, making uh, different uh, personal um, uh, remarks just name it straightly uh, straightforward then feelings how to behavior or result made you feel and what is very 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 important is the future so what you would like to have in the future because it's not important to say what's going wrong but also it's very very important to tell what do you think would be better for you or what do you think it would be better for everybody yeah and this is very basic thing, but it happens that in many cases of problems within the CSA, it goes back only to that uh, question, how to make a personal feedback effective and um, yes, effective helpful. and helpful, yes. And um, the last thing of, that pre of our presentation, because it's impossible to tell you uh, each kind of challenge, each kind of uh, benefit, each, each kind of uh, CSA case. The most important thing from my perspective is just to build or strengthen the local community of CSA and to share with others, with your experience, to find the solution within another CSA already functioning, already working and uh, there are many opportunities to to meet and also to talk and uh, to exchange the exchange the experience uh, i don't know whether you were already or you are planning to be uh, every two years there is a european csa meeting and it's a very very beautiful space and an opportunity to meet other people and 
this is the good, the best thing just to promote the CSA group and to uh, to make it uh, stronger. Just to make your um, yes, just to make uh, your presence there. Also at the website um, Urgency, you can find a lot of good materials concerning. Uh, concerning the CSA, the this history, the testimony, how it goes, the materials for education, for trainings. So I very um, encourage you to go there and and flick through. Okay, uh, we are we are now fine with our presentation. This is now the space for um, for your questions and. If somebody of you would like to have uh, uh, speak it loudly, you can you can make it uh, you can make wave your hand and urgency as a as a host um, as a host will will allow you to 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 ask the question. If not, you have still possibility to write it down. And um, yes, yes. So. We are ready. We are ready for you. If you are, if you would like to ask us for something, we are ready for here. Yeah. What is important also for you to know that this uh, this webinar it's uh, recorded, and uh, you can also share with your friends or with your farmer neighbors just to share with the uh, with the link to the to the webinar and she or he can just um, watch it again and then can ask us through emails through different uh, through different ways okay we are ready for answering <laughs> There is an icon of uh, raise hand, so you can press it, or you just can unmute your micro and just ask the question. Also, it would be very, very nice uh, if some of you can just uh, uh, just share with your experience from your point of view because I think that some of you are uh, people taking part in the into CSA group so uh, okay uh, I'm trying to turn on the microphone but I think Mateo it's not up to you to turn on the microphone but maybe it's to urgency to allow you to speak loudly so I think that we can uh, we can fix that problem okay If not, Matteo, maybe you could write down your question. You will, uh, we can answer as much as we can. Okay, Matteo, I see that you are on, that your micro is on. Hello? Okay, yes. Oh, fantastic. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so uh, um, we are listening from um, Mannebach in, in the west of Germany. We are a small farm of uh, goats. Mm -hmm. uh, we make cheese and we sell in the format of 
farmers market so we are on four or five markets around the region and uh, we are very curious about the format of csa me personally i was part of it as a consumer mm -hmm. uh, but obviously like producing one product which is cheese well we produce uh, 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 several kinds of cheese but selling one product uh, it becomes even more challenging to set up that kind of format and so i was wondering if, if you had any reference or experience with uh, people that produce only cheese only eggs only meat and um, if there is history of many farms that collaborate so for example if we found another csa maybe they put they put a portion of our cheese in the portion of vegetables or um, i don't know if you have any idea of how we could uh, approach the csa format without being a csa that it's 100 percent cheese which is um i think a bit um yeah, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I understand the question. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. And I think that it would be very, very good for you to just to um, uh, get know about the uh, specifically French scale of CSA because it's very popular in France that several farmers they cooperate together with a group of family. So, for instance, a CSA uh, is uh, it's well, it's constituted by let's say three farmers, one is runs uh, farmer uh, orchard, another is uh, vegetable, has vegetables, and the mm -hmm. third farmer provides, let's say, cheese like you and bread, for instance. And they have uh, 15 or 20 families. And this, uh, this format, this model of CSA, it's, it works very, very good because it's not obligatory that you, uh, as a farmer, have to have this 30 vegetables or 30 products <laughs> for your consumer, but it's also possible to, to cope with your neighbor's, neighbor's farmers. So maybe uh, just, just to talk loudly about that with other, uh, with other farmers in your region, that you are ready to cooperate with them, it's a good idea, and also while you are you take part in uh, in the uh, in the market far, farming market every week, I, I suppose it's yes. also good to communicate with your consumer whether they will be interested in such a in such a way of uh, cooperation. I think uh, it's also maybe could be. Um, good thing for you just to uh, contact with uh, Solavi to have you ever uh, communicate with them yes um, not, not, yeah, because not actually regarding this I, I was part in in of a Solavi um, network in Berlin uh -huh. um, uh -huh. so I, I know what it is but we haven't been in touch with them as farmers okay because they could be on the um, they could be well informed about the different uh, farmers running the csa and uh, they could they could just uh, give you an advice where to right. address yes but That's this it. model also works very very good that they are several farm farmers mm -hmm. that provide good food for the eaters so you are not obliged to go out of your uh, goat milk scale. Yeah? No. no, great. And um, another uh, question that I had um, is, um, well, the, the two questions together, and, and I think they regard the part of trust between consumer and farmer that become kind of part of the same family. But I was wondering two things. So one is, uh, let's say we make a budget uh, and I say, uh, I have a thousand euros of expenses for the whole year. We are 10 people, every share is a hundred euros. Fantastic, you pay that to me, I've got my thousand euros. 
Now, um, after two months, there is an epidemic in the stable and 20 goats are very sick and I need to spend a thousand euros more of that. Mm -hmm. um, who covers that and, and uh, who, how do you manage uh, unexpected costs and, um, and, uh, and yeah, those kind of... Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I guess it depends by every, every group because obviously you, you make your own um, uh, agreements, but in your experience, uh, what kind of systems are there in place to, to kind of mm -hmm. yeah, make the impact softer? Yeah, so in, in theory, it goes like your group of consumer eaters, um, they accept that different things could happen. And mm -hmm. if it happens, regardless your your knowledge, regardless your your work, they are ready to, well, to take part in the risk. So yeah. in theory, uh, it's like at the beginning of the season, the farmer uh, establish a price for a every week share. At, at the end of the season, it's up to him or her just to just to communicate that okay, my provision was were okay, were right, so um, it, it's fine. Very often it happens that the farmer just adds some extra stuff because uh, because they were a good good opportunity to grow good food, but sometimes. Uh, if it was the case, like you said, that uh, unexpected uh, problems uh, occur to a farmer, so you have to communicate and uh, and to talk with your group. And in theory, they should be aware that it wasn't your bad decision, but it was just a life, yes, that it happens. So then, uh, or if you are in need that you don't have the money at this at the spot at the moment for for cover to cover all the expenses so you can uh, just ask them whether there, there will be possibility to uh, to support you and then in that case you just open the next season in fact budget because it will be it, it should be uh, it should be take into account that this is the long-term uh, commitment and it's not only the case that you are working only this month, but you are working, let's say, the, the whole season. And the season with the goats, it's, it goes a little bit longer, as, as far as I know, that with, with the vegetables or with orchard. Yeah, mm -hmm. so in theory, uh, this, your CSA group should support you. But mm -hmm. it's very, very important to talk with your, with your group at the beginning uh, uh, or just to to maybe to communicate the history of your farm, because this kind of calamities it doesn't happen so often. It it happens, but not every year. Yes. Yes. Uh, so it's also uh, a very important space to well communicate and well uh, explain where wh where is the the problem and how they could help you and what happens if they don't uh, don't help you yeah? yeah because it will be the consequence yes thank you yes. you're welcome And what I would like to tell you that the, the previous week, I think, it was the first seminar on the um, on the finances in Germany. Sorry, I don't remember exact place, uh, exact uh, name of the city where it was held, but it's on our website, uh, urgency.net. And mm -hmm. also you can address to the organizers, the, the Solavi was organized within the Solid Base project. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And um, it was very, very good, as, as far as I know, a very good uh, uh, workshop. Yeah, the same was in Czech Republic the last weekend, and also in Poland we will be uh, running such a workshop about finances, uh, sustainable finances in the CSA group in, in June. So um, it's still working on, uh, on the process, yes? And it's good yep. to, 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 well, I think the contact them will be a good thing for you.
Yes, this this uh, was a seminar by Solavi. Yes, yes. Oh, I, I see that in our Zoom group chat, Urgency already put the shortcut to the, to oh, the text. Thank you. So yes. you can you can see it. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have any other questions right now? Or just you want to share with us some of your some of your, some of your experience concerning setup a CSA or, or pros and cons of being a part of CSA group? It's 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 a good space, it's a good time for that. Um, hi everyone. Hello. Hi. I'm Alice from Rome. We just um, found uh, our CSA, the first of the capital uh, city of Italy. And yes, we sh we have some troubles in credibility, so that there is so much to change on common uh, way to live, like. Mm -hmm. um, seasonal vegetables, so maybe it's too much work compared uh, to um, industrial food. And trust people, because we are in Italy and so everybody is afraid that the other eater will uh, steal something from the um, uh, distribution point, for example, mm -hmm. that will be no equal. So. Uh, we are trying to build communities also inside the small groups of eaters in the distribution point so that they will uh, know each other and how do you work with involving uh, the eaters in the um, living of not in the working groups because they are really active we have really a good uh, answer in the working groups but within each other to build uh, trust uh, in in between eaters. Mm. So uh, you are the part of the farmers, mm -hmm. or you are the eater. I'm part of the farmers. Mm -hmm. We are three farmers. We have already many volunteer people, and we will start uh, distributing in May. So we are just just born. Yes. We are, uh, start seeding and planting, and we get some. Um, so the the eaters are really involved into the CSA uh, life, but they do not trust each other outside of the CSA life. So we are trying to create some meeting points for them outside of our uh, activities, just that they know each other, that they can build relationship. Yeah, I think it's, it's, a, good, it's a good way just to enhance them, to, um, uh, to encourage them to, to, to know each other. Because if you know each other, if you know your family, if you know your private life, it's uh, more likely, less likely that uh, you will be um, uh, not kind with uh, with the other person, yes. Yeah? So I think this approach is very very good. But I think that there is now not any good advice except meeting and talking. Uh, many of us in in our group of NGOs, this um, this alternative uh, way of thinking people, let's say, if we could name us like this. We are talking that democracy, that the open uh, um, communication is so important. But then, if it happens to meeting, to meet and talk, it happens that we don't have enough time. There is no time to meet, to talk, uh, to 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 too long. Yes. So we want to make very short and brief and quick meeting. 
but it's not possible. It's not well. It's not possible. It, this is the not not the way that we build the community. The community is built uh, during a, an amount of time, and um, I think that maybe uh, if you see that this is very um, challenging question that people they are they do not trust each other, and you underline very important thing that. Uh, you are worrying about the uh, that somebody could steal goods. Uh, well, it's very uh, tough thing, I think. So maybe ask your community. Maybe ask them uh, frankly that um, you would like to see them cooperating very closely to well to build this uh, to build this trust but uh, maybe it's good for them and for you as well to speak loudly uh, what do you what are you afraid of mm. I, I well I'm, I'm thinking on the spot but I think that what I would do at, at at that situation. What about you, Emilia? Yes, I think it's a very good idea just to discuss uh, all this, uh, uh, all these uh, problems or, or your uh, and uh, issues you are afraid of. And uh, I think a, a very good uh, thing for uh, building a community is also to organize events on the farm. I don't know if you uh, tried to make something like that to gather people from the from, from your CSA group on your farms and to make um, I don't know for one day and uh, make them cooperate together you know uh, um, on the farm so it could be also an interesting I think uh, way to to make them uh, much more. Uh, involved, involved, commit, commit, yes, uh, involved, yes, and um, and also they could see each other in a in a different uh, environment as well. So maybe it could be helpful. Maybe not just talking, but also working together. Just yeah, to absolutely. Um, idea of working together. So uh, you know, with your own hands. So I think it's. Uh, it could be it could be helpful for that and yes and talking about frankly about uh, all these uh, tough issues yeah thanks a lot i joined it it was already really late so i don't know if somebody asked you already but i would like to know uh, which kind of place do you suggest as a distribution point so that we'll distribute the vegetables Okay, it, it was private houses, shops, uh, or what is your experience till now? They already started. They will start May. Ah, you will start in May. Okay, so well, ah, yeah, our experience. We already have seven distribution points, oh, and okay. there are two ch two churches, two shops, one private house. So it's mm, different uh, realities. Mm, but for example, was suggested to us to do not um, force private houses because can be stressy to have uh, people coming and going into a private house it's mm. normally well i agree with that even though if somebody accepted that option uh, or maybe somebody proposed his or her house for a center of distribution it was his or her decision but on the other hand, I agree with you that it could be at the long term very challenging for, 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 for that family to host every week a group of people looking for, for food. But uh, uh, just practicalities. So the, the space for, for sharing should be in the good distance from the people they are living or to, com to commute to find that um, that goods, yes, because um, the experience of, of CSA I know is that uh, the, the group weren't so big, so they were uh, discussing among themselves, okay, where will be at the map of the city, where will be the best place for us to, uh, to, to meet, 
and also the um, well the, the, from the logistic point of view uh, how much time do we have to get rid of the to get rid of the distribution because if a good place is in the, in the building or somewhere when we have only one hour to 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 well to take with the, with the distribution it's not good because hurry it's not so uh, it's not so good yeah but i think that it's up to your group many farmers do like this that leave the decision to group of eaters to decide where they want to have the uh, delivery so leave them maybe to decide to find a nice place where you uh, just give the food a pretty suggestion thanks a lot thank you Okay, so uh, do you have any other question or want something with us? <clears throat> if not, we can. Uh, and yeah, we can we can end this webinar and uh, just keep you um, please stay in touch with us because the next webinar, as uh, as I remember well, will be the next weekend uh, and it will be devoted for uh, ecological farming for CSA group for CSA. So it will be more uh, practical and more devoted for farmers farmers issue farmer problem uh, but it will be announced on the urgency website and urgency or csa uh, facebook profile so we are very thankful for you for your attention for your support and for your share during this webinar and hope to hear you next webinar as well and the next webinar will be held by italian groups so uh, you can find your um, find your Italian um, friends on the on the webinar. Yeah, and we wish you good luck in your activities setting new CSA. And we also have a wish that this movement will be developing in Europe and overall uh, the world, because um, we be we do believe that it it, it is the the right answer to, to the challenges we're facing now. So good luck and be in touch. Yep, thank you. Thank you.